Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make two styles of clay wall hangings. Our cloud and our shapes, so let's get right to it. We're using air dry clay. I have a roller and I've protected my surface with this mat. You can use a plastic placemat or wax paper. You also need water, as you can see. The water helps to smooth and shape the clay. My clay feels a little dry, so I'm patting it with water to get it softened. I'm slowly starting to flatten it and roll out my clay. It's a little tough with the roller, but enough water and some time, it's working. Once my clay is smooth and rolled out, I'm using a plastic knife to mark my cloud shape. Of course, you can use clay tools, but there are plenty of objects around the house. I'm using the water to continue to smooth and shape after I've peeled away my excess clay. And I'm using the water again to fine tune the shape. You can even use some of the scrap clay as needed to fix the shape of your cloud. At some point, like pretty much right now, we have to carefully release this from our surface so it doesn't dry on there. Then you can smooth out the back of our shape as well. And now we're going to make the nose. Use some scrap clay here. Use the water to join your shapes and smooth and shape the nose. I'm also using my knife as well. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the multi-circle wall hanging. This is messy, so definitely extra protect the table. Grab paint of your favorite color and add a drop, or way less than I did, <laughs> of your favorite color to the clay and mix it in. I'm not mixing entirely because I like the marble look and I'm rolling it out. I'm using teeny tiny little biscuit cutters. You can use whatever you have around the house or even freehand. I use more water to smooth the surface and this also blends the colors a little bit. Don't forget to poke holes. I'm using the back end of a paintbrush. Do this while it's still wet. As you can see, I did eight holes total in my cloud. And now that it is totally dry, dried overnight, I am painting it with white acrylic paint. I like to use a sponge like this because it gets into all of the little cracks and textures inside of the clay. And then I flip it over and I do the same thing and I make sure I get the edges. Next, for the cheeks, I'm going to grab a little, little bit of pink in with my white, and I'm going to use a sponge like this to dab and make the cute little cheeks. We're going to set this aside to dry for a few minutes. For this, I'm using my embroidery thread to loop through and make whatever kind of knots you would like. You can also use yarn, twine, ribbon. I'm using a wooden dowel also to hang it off of. You can use a stick for a really rustic look. If you've made a resin piece, embroidery hoops, whatever fits your vibe. And as you can see, I'm just making a series of loops and knots to hook it all together. And you can do this however you would like. You may find, like I did here, that you need to widen some of the holes in the back of your clay pieces, whether it's the cloud or your shapes or circles. So I just used a plastic embroidery or knitting needle to widen the back. 
The clay is solid, but it's still fragile enough that you can go ahead and carve out a little bit of a bigger hole in the back to complete your knots and threading. Once you get to the end, you're just going to go ahead and make a couple of standard knots and make sure that you loop in and knot together the actual string and not just around because then it'll still go right through. And then trim off your excess or let it hang, whatever is up to you, your vibe, go for it. And so there you go, that's what it's going to look like. Imagine it with lots of different colors or shapes, whatever, however many strands you would like. Okay, back to our cloud. I am starting by using that plastic embroidery needle again to widen the back of the holes, just like I did on the other one. Just, it really, really helps. Next, I have my embroidery thread in all different colors. I have 24 inch lengths, and I'm starting by folding it in half, like so, and then in half again. I'm taking the looped edge, and that's the end that's going to go through the holes in the cloud. You may find you need to widen them again or just use a little bit of patience, but they will go through. Once I feed it through, you'll see I'm going to go ahead and open up that looped edge in the back, and then I will feed the free edge through and gently tighten it. Then I like to snip the little looped edge so that everything is free and breezy. And I'm going to do that for all seven colors of my rainbow and then to end I'm going to take a fine tipped felt marker and draw my face I'm keeping mine very simple you can use whatever you would like and do whatever you'd like for yours there you go now imagine this one with way more strands maybe colors and shapes definitely a statement piece and of course, here's our little cloud. It is so cute and it brings me such joy with its simple little smiley face. It just needs a little twine, thread, or ribbon so I can hang it up wherever I'd like. I think it's going to go on my bulletin board. All right, everyone, have fun with your projects.